Disney Plus is releasing a Percy Jackson TV series, which we just found out is premiering on December 20th. Me personally, I am so excited for the show, but I'm getting a little bit worried. In this video, I'm going to discuss what those worries are and why I think, very sadly, the show might be in trouble. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you want to stick around, hit that subscribe button as well. Now, let's get into it. So the thing that inspired this video was excitedly clicking on the Percy Jackson teaser that dropped a few weeks ago and seeing that at the time, it only had 500,000 views. And now three weeks later, it only has 748,000 views, which is shockingly low. A trailer like this having under a million views is so rare and shows that not that many people have watched it. For comparison, other Disney Plus shows similar to this have way more views. Artemis Fowl has almost 10 times more views with 9.5 million, Just Beyond got 3.8 million, and even the mysterious Benedict Society cracked a million plus views. So Percy Jackson not getting as much attention really worries me. It seems as though there just aren't that many people who are eagerly awaiting the show the way I am. One of the big reasons for this could be the failure of the movie adaptations from 2010 and 2013 while the rest of those projects were scrapped. Many might say that Percy Jackson had its chance at an adaptation and it failed us. It makes me wonder, is that the reason why the trailer isn't getting as much attention? Percy Jackson came out close to 20 years ago and it might have run its course for a lot of fans. It's definitely more kid oriented than projects like Harry Potter which has consistently kept fans engaged even into adulthood. So the people that would have been excited for a Percy Jackson adaptation already got that at the age where it would have fit them and it failed them. So they moved on to other books, shows, and movies that are more adult and they no longer have any interest in what will probably be a show aimed more at kids than anybody else. Me trying to be positive and just hoping that the show will succeed, I think back to shows like Avatar The Last Airbender, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, and I see that they are very popular with adults even today. So it's quite possible that a show like this, even though it's aimed at kids, could still succeed. At least I hope it does. Because if this first season doesn't perform well, it might be the end of the show altogether just like it was for the movies, which would be a real shame. Another thing that worries me is the fact that it's on Disney+. Plus. While Percy Jackson is a big franchise, don't get me wrong, it's not on the same level with some of the other staples on Disney+, Plus, like Marvel and their endless releases of shows and movies, Star Wars, which always seems to have a new weekly episode coming out, whether it's The Mandalorian, The Bad Batch, and now Ahsoka. Then there's Pixar releasing their movies on the platform, and even more content with shorts and spin-off animations, and of course the live-action Disney films, which always take center stage when you first enter Disney+. Plus. All of these companies have Disney+, Plus lockdown plus everything else and let's be honest these companies have much bigger ips than percy jackson does so i worry that disney plus might be too overcrowded for this new show and it might get lost in the never-ending content of the bigger ips and speaking of disney disney being the one doing this show might turn a lot of people away People hate Disney, and they actively boycott projects they do. One small thing, whether it's a comment, a mistake, you name it, people will find a way to hate on it when it's produced by Disney and will try their best to boycott it. It is true that Disney shows have failed on a lot of fronts that are important for the Percy Jackson series to do well, the main thing that I'm thinking about being the CGI. They dipped in quality quite a bit because they're just doing too many projects at once, and special effects artists don't have the time to make quality CGI that we've come to expect from big projects. You see this with a lot of the Disney Plus Marvel shows, which has sparked endless criticism on social media. And sadly, already, people have started to complain about the CGI for the Percy Jackson show. There's some shots that are not so good if you ask me. The one of Ares walking towards the camera and the three kids on the beach. I don't know, it feels like a case of undercooked CGI maybe? Is it just me or do these shots look like the kids and Ares have been very obviously green screened over the top? It just looks cheap. Like, we've only gotten a handful of shots so far, we barely have any content to complain about, and it's already started. Me personally, I don't think that what they're complaining about is that bad, like this looks pretty good, but I guess I can see where they're coming from. And speaking of boycotting, a lot of people are doing that exact thing because of the casting controversy. I thought about leaving this point out of the video because I know it can be a sensitive topic to some people, but it is a big reason why this series might not get the viewership they hoped for. So I guess trigger warning here. People were outraged when Disney cast a black Annabeth, a South Asian Grover, and a blonde Percy. 
for that reason, they are boycotting the show. And it's a lot of people doing this. I went down a rabbit hole on Twitter while researching for this video, and I found a whole army of people upset about this and who are actively trying to make sure this show fails because of the race swapping. Similar to how people tried to boycott Hogwarts Legacy for all different reasons. That being said, my hope is that this show has the same results as Hogwarts Legacy, shutting those boycotters down and succeeding. I strongly believe that these three actors are going to be incredible in the roles, and honestly, their race doesn't matter. If author Rick Riordan thinks that these actors embody the characters he wrote in his books, that's good enough for me. He knows best. I don't care what the race is, I just want them to act like the characters from the books, and so far from what we've seen in the trailers, and also from Rick's testimony, that seems to be a reality, which makes me really happy. I for one am very excited about this show, and one of the main reasons for making this video was to maybe bring the show some more attention. I don't know how much I can do as a single YouTuber, but I'm going to try my best to make sure that people know about and watch the show, especially if they are or were once fans of the books. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, I would love to know what you guys have to say. For now though, that's all I have for you, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram to see more of my personal life, like my cute dog Loki, and some behind the scenes movie flame stuff. I also do similar content on TikTok and Twitter that I do here on this channel, so if you like what I do here, check them out. All the handles are right below me, and links are in the description. Over here are my wonderful patrons. If you want to be featured on the next video, plus get a few other perks, become a patron today. As always, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe, and look out for more great Movie Flame videos on the way.